Time to check in on my crypto. Let's go ahead and see those gains. <laughs> yeah, little does he know that his gains will soon become a loss. <laughs> what? what? This can't be happening. Where did all my crypto go? Surprised? You left all your crypto lying around in an exchange. Big mistake, friend. <laughs> But how did you- Oh, the wonders of weak passwords, phishing attacks, and a little bit of social expertise. <laughs> Not that big of a deal. I should have been more careful. I'd do anything so my crypto wouldn't have vanished away. Well, you could have avoided it. <laughs> how? Well, in this video, we're going to show you how to secure your digital assets so you don't end up like me on the computer. We're breaking down the complexities of crypto wallets and guiding you through the best options to store your Bitcoin. So this leads us to the question. Since you're the one in charge of your own money, your own Bitcoin, how do you keep it safe? Here is where crypto wallets come in. The purpose of a crypto wallet is to store, manage, and ease your transactions. It is the guardian of your money, responsible for ensuring it is secure, accessible, and ready for your commands. No one but you should or will have access to it, and crypto wallets are pretty much safer than exchanges while on crypto exchanges, you have a public key, which is the address you share with other people to receive or send funds. Crypto wallets have both public and private keys. The private key, as you probably know, is the one that you must keep secretly and not share with anyone, not even your mother. In fact, we've delved deeper into Bitcoin wallets on one of our previous videos. If you haven't caught that one yet, check it out for a complete guide up here. The link will also be down in the description. Speaking of exchanges versus private wallets, this is quite an important discussion to have before you start dealing with crypto. Private wallets are a digital device or piece of software that allows the owner to manage their funds on the blockchain. When the wallet is created, it, is, it generates a pair of keys that I mentioned earlier, which will protect your funds. Crypto exchanges, on the other hand, are basically marketplaces. These are where crypto prices are listed and a variety of coins can be bought and sold freely. Many of them offer custodial wallets so that you can store your crypto when not buying and selling them, in which the private keys, however, are held by a third party, by that exchange, because the main purpose is to buy and sell the crypto, not hold it. Of course, the platform you choose will depend on your purpose and usage style. However, when it comes to security concerns, crypto exchanges fall short, period. These institutions can be hacked, much easier than private wallets, as we saw with Mt. Gox, or even face legal troubles, which means your crypto is gone like FTX. This is the result of having your funds being manipulated and held by a third party. Not your keys, not your Bitcoin. And this is why crypto wallets are way more secure and private. The biggest risk to funds kept in self-custody wallets is likely yourself. So you just have to be aware and fully understand how the wallet works and how you can keep it safe, where to keep your private keys, and so on and so forth. Then when you want to trade your crypto, you can simply move your assets to an exchange and keep an eye on it, understand the risks. Essentially, to keep your funds safe, you must keep them in a Bitcoin wallet. There are many types of wallets to choose from, however, each of them having their own pros and cons, of course. So let's break down into two categories of wallets, hot wallets and cold wallets. A hot wallet creates and stores your private keys online, while cold wallets create and store your private keys offline. Hot wallets can be mobile, desktop, or web-based software. These wallets operate on your computer and cell phone directly. They are connected to the internet at all 
times in order to work. So hot just means it's connected to the internet, which then means, of course, that it's more vulnerable to compromise. Cold wallets, on the other hand, often come in the form of hardware or paper wallets. They're also known as hardware wallets because of this. These are designed to safely create and store private keys offline. When you're managing your funds in a hardware wallet, you go through more security steps, making your money less vulnerable. So I've probably got you pretty excited about Bitcoin wallets. I know I am. We've explored the range from hot to cold, and we've even had a backstage look at public and private keys. But let's get real. Just how safe are these crypto wallets? What kind of stormy seas are we navigating, and what risks might be lurking beneath the surface? Well, there are definitely hacks and scammers, of course, always on the lookout for a vulnerable spot where they can get through and take your Bitcoin. From phishing attacks to malware, there are plenty of tricks up their sleeves. However, you shouldn't worry about it if you are making the right things and following a few security tips. Now, talking about weak spots, exchanges, as we already mentioned, have a more than a few holes, and online wallets are not as secure as offline hardware wallets. Exchanges can be susceptible to breaches, hacking attempts, and let's face it, the internet isn't always the safest neighborhood. Remember, the golden rule in the crypto world, not your keys, not your Bitcoin. It's like saying not your pin, not your bank account. If your crypto is not in a wallet where you personally own and control the private keys, it's like leaving your door wide open in a storm. So how do you choose a Bitcoin wallet then? Before we go through the roadmap of choosing the right wallet for you, there's a handy tool to keep an eye on your Bitcoin balance, no matter which wallet you choose. It's called the Wallet Watcher. It helps you monitor multiple Bitcoin addresses at one time across multiple different wallets, and you can track your balances, transactions, and even receive email notifications when transactions occur. That's something pretty cool. Whether you're using a mobile, desktop, or web-based wallet, Wallet Watcher has your back, ensuring that you're always in control of your Bitcoin finances. I'm gonna drop the link down below in the description so that you can check it out on Blockonomics. Now, back to choosing a wallet. First, you've got to know your own goals. Are you an active trader, a long-term investor, or someone who will be handling daily transactions? Different wallets serve different purposes, so align your choice with your objectives. Secondly, opt for simplicity over complexity. A user-friendly interface is key to a seamless experience. Choose a wallet that feels intuitive, ensuring your crypto journey is smooth and straightforward, but also secure. You should also choose a wallet with a trustworthy track record, read reviews, gauge the community threads, and opt for a wallet that has the best reputation and features for you. Following this idea, also ensure your chosen wallet aligns with your needs. Whether it's cold storage for enhanced security or in-wallet conversion options, make sure the features cater to your requirements. And secure your wallet. Craft a strong password as a primary defense, and consider adding two-factor authentication for an extra layer of security. Enhancing wallet security reduces the risk of unauthorized access and potential theft of your Bitcoin. Regularly back up your wallet's private keys or recovery phrase. 
in case of wallet loss or device failure, having a backup ensures that you can recover your Bitcoin funds. Also carefully review transaction details, including the recipient's Bitcoin address and the amount that you want to send. When possible, scan QR codes to input Bitcoin addresses, reducing the risk of manual entry errors. And last, but certainly not least, never, ever, 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 ever share your private keys with anyone. Never do it, never, bad idea, nada, nope. Now you're ready to use your crypto wallet safely. If you enjoyed this video, make sure that you like it and share your thoughts down below in the comments and obviously